Hi, today I'm going to introduce Redening Canoe Aircraft D460. Here is the handheld backpack for D460. And the colorful box is also available for packaging. And unbox it. Here is a manual for GAS transmitter and D460 fuselage. D460 fuselage is available in red and purple. Here is the red one. And I take the purple one as an example in the video. And D460 comes with a TAS transmitter. Here it is. Uh, users can choose other reading transmitters and receivers to control D460. And optional reading transmitters include TAS, TAFB, T12D, T16D, ATLIS Pro, and AT102. And the 2S LiPo battery. Here it is. And here are all the accessories. A reading ink charger CM210. You can use CM210 charger to charge the 2S paper battery. And the charging and update cable for TAS transmitter. Two propellers and some rubber band. A fiber tape, a screwdriver, and some spare rudder angles, and also the Sort of return screen and hook for TAS transmitter. A vertical tail for D460. When you receive D460, you need the parts here. D460 fuselage, the vertical tail, TAS transmitter, a battery, and a propeller and a rubber band. And for assembly, you just need to assemble the vertical tail, which is very simple. And there are magnets on the fuselage and the and tail. So insert the tail. And you'll be attracted so the tail is fixed. Then plug the battery. Here is the magnetic carbon cover. Remove it. And here is the space for battery. And this is cover for all the other accessories. You can re remove it and check all the collections. Power on TS transmitter first and push the throttle to the lowest position. And then power on the aircraft. Flag the battery. Keep D460 in a stationary state and the self test of the flight controller is done. You can move the joystick. The control services move. So the collection is successful. And then you can arrange battery wires. And put back the magnetic cabin cover to make it fit. Here it is fit. And the motor can be locked or unlocked by channel 7. The switch here. Push the switch up. The motor is locked and there is no throttle. When you push the throttle stick and push the switch down or center, the motor is unlocked and the motor emits two long beeps. With the unlocking is successful. And push the throttle stick. There is throttle response when you push the throttle stick. And remember, you must push the throttle joystick to the lowest position when unlocking it, otherwise the unlock will fail. And the right switch here is used to control flight modes. D460 has three flight modes. Push the switch down. It is stabilized mode, which is suitable for beginners. And push the switch in the center. It is a gyro mode, the advanced flight mode. Push switch up. It is manual mode. There's no gyro involved. And it is recommended to use the stabilize mode when you first fly it. So push it down. Stabilize mode. Then DB needs to calibrate the attitudes to ensure the balance status. And it is recommended to lift the aircraft nose 
at about 20 degree angles for beginners to ensure smooth flight. Now I remove the cover. And I place a box under the nose, like this. With the nose lift about 20 degrees. Then I push the left stick and the right stick of the transmitter to calibrate the attitude. The green LED of MDB will flash once, and there will be a slight movement of the servo, indicate the calibration is complete, and I will show it. Push the left stick left and down, right stick right and down to calibrate. The LED on bank DB flash once, and the servo moves once, we indicate the calibration is complete. And the attitude calibration will be recorded by flight controller once it is complete with success. After the attitude calibration is done, test the servo phase. Push the switch of channel 5, the switch up to manual mode. Then check if the movement direction of the ailerons is consistent with the joystick movement. And move the aileron stick to the left. Left aileron lift and the right aileron pressed. And move the elevator stick down. left aileron and the right aileron lift. So the movement of the control service is correct. And when the movement direction of the aileron is inconsistent with the joystick movement, you can adjust the servo phase by pressing the buttons on the front of the BIM DB. Here it is. After all the tests above, you can install the propeller. And when it's a propeller, and the rubber band to fix the propeller. The propeller with words should face outward. And here are the words. Then insert the propeller and connect two ends of the rudder band to fix the propeller. Now it is fixed. And then you can fly D460 outside. And that's all about the unboxing and setup of D460.